There's a war for talent going on, so it's not unusual to find yourself in a situation where you're avoiding your client like the plague, just because you can't find the candidates that they're looking for. But you're not alone. The important thing is that you take control of the situation to protect your client relationships as well as your reputation. So if you're ever struggling to find the candidates for your clients, why not try following these steps? Step number one, set up a call with a hiring manager. You need to face the music. Dodging your client's calls just because you can't face telling them you don't have what you promised is just going to piss them off and make them think that you can't do your job. Set up that call and get ready to clearly explain why you're struggling to source the candidates for them and the challenges that you're facing in recruiting for this role. Your client will appreciate the honesty and it's likely they've been struggling to recruit for these candidates as well. Step number two, use data to cover your back. This is your area of expertise. No one knows your candidate market better than you do. So it's up to you to educate your client Gather data and market insights that clearly explain why you don't have a candidate shortlist for them yet, and you should be able to find these stats easily inside your CRM. Show your clients solid figures that demonstrate how many candidates you've contacted or screened for the role, and just why they weren't a good fit. This is all about showing how much time and effort you've already dedicated to sourcing for the role and educating your client on the market. And don't be afraid to tell them the candidate they're looking for just simply doesn't exist, if you're certain that they don't. At this stage, they basically have two options. Wait until that non-existing candidate magically appears or go back to the brief. Step number three, go back to the brief. List out the roadblockers you're hitting when approaching their brief to show them why, based on the market data that you hold, that candidates that they're looking for are just so hard to find. At this stage, you should be feeling confident enough to convince them to be a little more open-minded about reviewing candidates that maybe don't tick every box of their requirements. The aim here is to try and convince your client to be a little more flexible, so this opens up the door for you to sell in your candidates with transferable skills, or at least give you a fighting chance to find relevant candidates when you start your search again. Step number four, manage expectations from the start. Overpromising and underdelivering is one of the easiest mistakes you can make when taking on a new job. To prevent yourself from ending up in this situation again, it's important to manage your client's expectations all from the start. You know what's possible in your market, so don't make any promises that you simply know you can't keep. Don't be tempted to say you can find a unicorn just to get a job on. It's just going to come back and bite you.